We are the people who make sure things happen according to plan. We monitor the entire world. I think it must be such a brain-melting experience to come across uh, an idea of the Adjustment Bureau. You bumped into a woman this morning on the bus. Were you just staring at my legs? I was defenseless against the dress. <laughs> Let alone to be confronted in a physical sense by this, this bigger force than you ever imagined. I can read your mind. It's remarkable that he chooses to fight that. The whole world of women out there thought we established this one was off limits. Well, it's been a while, I must have forgotten. And I think it, it shows great, uh, great spirit of character in him that he chooses to fight against that. The entire world is turned upside down and you're thinking about a woman. Not be led by that. Why do you want to keep us apart? Because the plan says so. Or frightened by that or put off by it. All I have are the choices that I make. Let's race to that lamppost. You win, I dance for you. I win, <laughs> you dance for me. I think with ballet or certain kinds of dance, you work hard your whole life to achieve some kind of ethereal perfection, which you never can get. I remember one of the dancers I spoke to, she was actually my double in this, and she said, you know, I really believe that everything you go through in life can come out in the way that you dance. And, that's, and this kind of dance allows for that. Here, you write your number down, and then I can call you and come pick up your skirt. Oh, my goodness me. That is very smooth. I just thought, oh, thank God this man has written a feisty, strong, layered, complicated girl. Why don't you let me spill some on you and then we'll be even? That's a terrible idea. I think it's a great idea. Just for, one first, bit, because that's not fair. You actually just a are little crazy. Spill no, right now it all makes sense. You can kind of hold her own and she's tough, but she's vulnerable. And there was, lot to, there was a lot to play with. The dialogue was great. It was witty. It was bantery between them. He's not here. I know. I'm sorry. Who was that? I don't know. Who cares? It'll be on the eye. Can you just. No. Okay, now we're in the third grade. This is great. <laughs> and I recognized it. You know, I recognized it as how, like, people really talk, you know? If you truly love her, just walk away. I think it speaks volumes about the attraction that these two people really have for each other, that he is willing to risk a lot for her. And there's something ominous about them in how human they are. I think that that's hopefully what will really work with this bigger force that we're not trying to do a very sci-fi, you know, people dressed in all in one black leather suits, you know, it's like, they're very real, they're, they're, and there's something frightening in how real they are, and the power that they have, and how human and normal they are. Why do you refuse to accept what should be completely obvious by now? You've seen what we can do. You can't doubt we are who we say we are. I need you to trust me. Okay. All I have are the choices I make, and I choose her. Just remember, we tried to reason with you.